Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm betting this for you TV. Uh, we have another great Saturday to look for the Euro as there are more great games coming up as uh, uh, the group of that will be back uh, in action and uh, uh, 5 o'clock UK time we're gonna have Portugal against Germany. A great opportunity to see very very good players, a great game of football and also on the same day we also have uh, uh, Hungary against France and of course Spain against Poland in the evening. So a lot, a lot of betting opportunity for this Saturday. And as you can see, we're back again to give you more tips on the Euros. So we will have our expert as well connected with us. So we're going to go to our uh, Premier League expert, Robbie Billund, and then we're adding to Italy as well, uh, with the, where Lucas and Proni will give us some additional tips. Please make sure you stay until the end and also make sure you subscribe to our channel. All you need to do is to click on the subscribe button after you have logged in into your YouTube account. Everything is completely free. And also hit the bell so you can get notifications every time we post a new video and you won't miss out anything. And also if you like some of the bets that we're going to suggest, simply check, check in the description below as we place all the links that we load those bets directly into the bookmaker account. In this way you will save time, make sure you back our tips correctly and also get the best odds as we select bookmakers that have the best price at the moment of recording. So obviously odds are subject to change so double check them before betting. So let's start immediately now uh, by going with uh, um, by going to Robbie Billun that is ready to give us uh, some tips on those great games. Robbie, that's over to you. Hi guys, we are back again here at Betting Tips for You, uh, looking ahead of uh, more games from the European Championship as uh, we are uh, starting to finalize round two. Uh, we're starting to see what teams uh, are having the best chances in going through, what teams uh, might have to pack their bags already, and uh, of course, but there's still much to be decided. Um, we have reached uh, Saturday, uh, where we are now looking forward to uh, two of the games here uh, in Group F, which is probably this European Championship's most crazy group we have. Portugal, France, Germany, three contenders uh, pretty much going into any European Championship, World Cup, uh, with uh, contenders to win the whole tournament. Now they are in the same group and I think as a football fan just here is actually one of those reasons where we should be happy that from four of the six groups we will see three teams going through and I hope we will see all those three teams into the knockout stages. I think they belong there. And uh, hopefully they will be able to book their places uh, in that stage of the tournament as well. Can just feel for Hungary. Uh, it's uh, probably sometimes you talk about getting in the group of death. Uh, this is by any means the worst uh, I've ever seen. And uh, they are of course seen as the ugly duck here. Uh, they did very good in the opening game against Portugal. Held on for 80 minutes. Performed really good football. Tried to attack when they got the chances as well. Of course uh, with the fans uh, backing them on. Uh, almost a full stadium at the Farenc Puska Stadium in Budapest. Uh, but when Portugal got the 1-0 it uh, ran away. Uh, ended of course in the 3-0 result as it did. But still, they should be very proud for that. But I cannot see them either winning or even getting a point. That was also one of my uh, best, uh, best bets before the tournament uh, on Hungary to get zero points. And I still think we are on a good way towards that. Um, for Saturday, we have created a double, uh, which we uh, start with uh, France to beat this Hungary side on a minus one handicap. Uh, I think France looked uh, really good against Germany. Uh, they have counterattacks to hurt Germany on. Uh, they had two goals ruled out for VAR checks. Uh, but I think against this uh, Hungary side, which knows that they are here just to enjoy themselves. They can go all out attack. They can prove themselves. They can show that they are a capable football team. I think that will open chances for France. And I think they will win. And they will win with at least a two goal margin. So France uh, winning on a 1-0 handicap is at the foundation in this double bet for Saturday. 
then I think in Portugal against Germany, I think we will see both teams to score. Uh, Germany goalless, of course, in the first game against France. I have a hard time seeing them be goalless in two games, uh, consecutive games at uh, the Allianz Arena in Munich. Uh, I think they created chances, they had possession, they were actually at times really good in this game against France and that they should and probably could have scored uh, with some more, uh, just some being a little bit more cold in front of goal. And I hope that we will see a better Germany side in the box in this game. And with Portugal, of course, we know Cristiano Ronaldo now the all-time best goal scorer in the European Championship with 11 goals from his 22 games. He is on 106 goals in total in international games. Just... Three short of Ali Daei's 109 and he will be a, a man on that pitch that wants to score more goals. But I think there's a good chance for both Portugal and Germany to score. So both teams to score in that game together with France winning on a minus one handicap against Hungary. That is our double for Saturday. You get some really good value on that one. We do a medium stake on it and I think we are well set for Saturday with that double. Looking at the best bet of the day, I have gone this time with uh, a bet which has a very high odds in terms of uh, or compared to what we normally might be looking at. So we have lowered the stake, but I still think it's a very good odds. We spoke earlier about that four teams uh, from uh, four number threes from the six groups will go through. And I think that is something we could take into consideration here. With Portugal already winning against Hungary, with Germany expecting to beat Hungary, of course, in the last round. If the, those two teams just play out in a draw, they will have at least four points. Germany definitely, if they beat Hungary, uh, Portugal, they could even add to their tally against France. But France should be seen probably as the favorites in the group. But with Portugal and Germany on four points, they should both be th uh, through no matter what here and as they are also the last teams out they have the chance to play on results uh, in terms of compared to other groups so <clears throat> i think we have a great situation here for both teams to be quite happy playing out in a draw of course nothing that will be settled beforehand but i still when they get the chance that of course on, now we are in a situation we have the draw should we attack what should we do i think both teams could be very happy uh, getting that to a quite high odds still i i think it's uh, definitely worth the money here to place on a draw in portugal against germany so that is our best bet of the day uh, not maybe the regular best bet where we're normally more safe and maybe at uh, some uh, better odds in terms of uh, how uh, high we rank them but too good to not turn uh, our eyes towards this one. So Germany, uh, Portugal against Germany to end in a draw. That is the best bet of Saturday. We lowered the stake for this one, but still fancy it to go through. Hopefully you back us. Hopefully at least we get you to be inspired to find your own bets here. Uh, take a look at the website for more information and I'll speak to you soon again. Thank you very much, Robin. And let's hope that we can get more winning bets coming from you. Robin has been in fantastic form so far in this tournament, has delivered a fantastic double on uh, Wednesday night, uh, where, sorry, on Thursday night, uh, when he picked correctly uh, the two um, teams to win Hungary, uh, Ukraine and also um, he did Netherlands to win. So that was a great win, a very good uh, setup for the weekend, and let's hope that we can get more. We always back the tips from our expert, as we know how much experience they have, so you will see that we always put our own money on it. And if you want to find out more and also check the profit and loss, you simply need to go to our website, betisforyou.com, and then navigate into the section Betis for You. TV and there you will find all the latest episodes together with the all the winning bets and the profit and loss uh, for our experts. So let's move on with the show now. I can see that uh, our local expert Luca Semproni, Italian expert Luca Semproni is ready for us. So let's go immediately to Luca. Luca, that's over to you. Ciao Simone, e come al solito benvenuti a tutte le persone che ci seguono su Betting Tips for You. Oggi voglio proporvi una doppia eh, seguendo le partite Spagna-Polonia e Portogallo-Germania. Eh, Partiamo da Spagna-Polonia. 
voglio eh, consigliarvi il gol di entrambi. La Spagna nel genere di qualificazione è arrivata prima con 26 punti, frutto di 8 vittorie e 2 pareggi, come vi ho detto le altre volte ovviamente giocano 4-3, eh, all'esordio deludente la partita 0-0 contro la eh, Svezia deve quindi assolutamente vincere se non vuole eh, già complicarsi il cammino verso gli ottavi la Polonia invece ha fatto un ottimo girone di qualificazione prima con 25 punti 8 vittorie, un pareggio e una sconfitta ha eh, fatto però un brutto esordio perché ha perso 2-1 con la Slovacchia anche se questa sconfitta è stata figlia un po' dell'espulsione di Krikoviak sull'1-1, dopo che la Polonia è passata in svantaggio è riuscita a pareggiare, stava giocando meglio, poteva vincere la partita, questa espulsione ha un po' tagliato le gambe. Il dato che mi fa consigliare eh, questa giocata è che comunque in 6 delle ultime 7 partite della Polonia è uscito il gol di entrambi. E poi perché, come vi ho detto, la Spagna e, e, sia la Spagna che la Polonia devono vincere questa partita e quindi ci aspettiamo gol di entrambi. Eh, L'altra partita della quale vi parlo è Portogallo-Germania. Qui voglio consigliarvi l'over 2 e 5. Il Portogallo secondo il giro nel B, 5 vittorie, 2 pareggi e una sconfitta. Bella vittoria dell'esordio per 3-0 sull'Ungheria, tra l'altro giocata che vi avevo consigliato qui su Battle Dips for You, con due, due gol, nemmeno a dirlo, di Cristiano Ronaldo che grazie a queste due reti appunto è diventato il miglior marcatore della storia degli europei. Veramente complimenti per l'ennesima volta a lui, un giocatore pazzesco, un giocatore mostruoso, veramente complimenti. La Germania invece era arrivata prima in giorno di qualificazione con 7 vittorie e una sconfitta, ha perso all'esordio con la Francia 1-0, pur non giocando una brutta partita, ci poteva stare comunque ecco, anche il pareggio tra le due eh, squadre. Deve però la Germania assolutamente vincere per non essere eliminata subito da quello che è sicuramente è il girone più difficile degli europei. Il dato che mi fa consigliarvi eh, questa giocata è che entrambe le squadre in eh, per entrambe le squadre in quattro le ultime cinque partite è uscito appunto l'over 2 e 5. Quindi ricapitolando, la uh, giocata che voglio consigliarvi è Spagna e Polonia volte entrambi e Portogallo e Germania over 2 e 5. Voglio dare un livello di confidenza 3 a questa uh, giocata perché ecco, sono comunque partite non uh, facili. Detto questo, eh, come al solito, nel ricordarvi di giocare responsabilmente, auguro un buon calcio a tutti, un buon europeo a tutti e ridotte la linea Simone. Ciao a tutti! Brilliant, thank you very much Luca. Luca has been the best expert so far in the tournament, has been very very consistent in delivering winnings. So let's hope that he can deliver some more this Saturday, make this weekend of the Euro very very special for us, the second weekend. So um, now uh, we are giving you the tips for uh, um, released by our expert here, Baines for you TV at quarter. It's a double on the scorer market. Before that, let me remind you that we have a very successful, fun, and popular service on our uh, Twitter feed at Bad Tips for You. So you can see in the graphic where our expert, our best expert, are there every single game of the Euro to provide light tipping and to give you the tips as the team as the game proceed to make the most of the, the opportunity that are in play during the game. So they watch the game, they analyze what's going on. They look at the odds and they provide the tips in uh, real time. So that's a very, very good service. It's very appreciated, it's popular, and we've been winning a lot of bets. So if you want to uh, spice up your uh, uh, Euro watching, make sure you, you go to our Twitter feed and you follow us. And we also have uh, tips provided by our expert here, Betis for You TV, for uh, uh, this Saturday. And the first one will be. Griezmann to score any time. So obviously Griezmann hasn't been in great form with Barcelona, but with uh, for the French team he's been very, very positive. He's been scoring regularly and definitely he will want to uh, make an impact considering that um, there is a lot of competition in the France attack. So we definitely think that he has an, an opportunity to score here against uh, an Hungarian defense that could actually concede uh, quite a lot of space, especially if France will score once. And uh, he scored 37 goals in 92 appearances, Griezmann, so uh, around uh, more than one goal every three games. So definitely 
there is a good opportunity for him to score here and uh, there is good value in backing in considering that uh, Mbappé is obviously a lot shorter. So uh, Griezmann to score is the first uh, bet of our double released by our expert here but it's for UTV at quarter and the second one is uh, uh, Ferran Torres to score in uh, Spain against Poland so the evening game. So obviously Spain have had a lot of problems to score goals as we've seen against Sweden but definitely they have the quality up front to um, cope with the situation and to find at least one or two goals against Poland, the Poland side that have been very disappointing especially on the road and then they're struggling to make uh, to, to uh, achieve results as we've seen Poland have, have lost at the first match against Slovakia showing that they're very vulnerable in that department and definitely uh, Ferran Torres uh, uh, can do well. The youngster from Manchester City has scored five uh, uh, in the last five goals in the last five appearances for Spain. So we expect him to uh, score and uh, to support the squad in uh, this search for the first win for uh, for Spain. So. Ferran Torres and uh, uh, Griezmann together is our double released by Rex Petia Bates for UTV at quarter for this Saturday. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please subscribe to our channel so you can get access to all our uh, exclusive videos and also hit the bell so you can get notifications every time you, we post a new videos. And also if you like the show, please put a, put a big thumbs up as that will allow us to grow the channel further. And also to uh, produce more and more videos for you. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, enjoy the uh, Euros and uh, we will be back tomorrow with more tips. But for the time being, if you decide to place uh, some bets, I wish you good luck.